love your fight go wow. 760 and up you know that's life goes wow. if your credit too low walking on the tight rope so yo credit up wow. you get your credit wow. up wow. credit wow. up wow. you get your credit wow. up wow. credit wow. up I need to start. I need to look at my family <laughs> differently. <laughs> we need to have a family meeting, man. How many people are in the family that come? It, it, it varies every meeting. Some people fall off, but we got a good 12. A good 12 of us actually actively put up to $200. Some people, next month, I got it, but a good 12 people. And how often? Every year we do it, but every year we have the meeting, but every month we put up $200. Got it. And then obviously we communicate throughout the day if it's a play that we got to run or if there's an investment. So that's how I buy a lot of my facilities with no money out of my own pocket. So I have my family, get you some business credit card. If you got a 401k, you got money saved, let's put it together. We're going to go buy this asset. Mm. And I'll just give you equity in the deal. Or I'll give you return on your money. I have all the resources, the information, but I'm pulling everybody together so we all can have some type of ownership. We all have some type of belief because as you know, it starts with the belief. And now you put up some money and I can say, hey, you have ownership in our family investment that keeps you encouraged, keeps you going. That's amazing. That's amazing. You're how old? 30. <laughs> God, bro, by the time you're like 35 or like my age, I'm 37. Like you are going to be sad because I think you have the, you have the right mindset. Yeah. And I hate using the word mindset because it's so like, overused and it's an underrated word yeah, yeah. because the whole game is in your head. Yeah. Right. But like you're, you're really setting your whole family up for generational wealth. Now I, I, I do agree with that because it's not like you're passing money down to them. You're passing down a system or a way of operating yes, and a way of thinking and getting them used to like vocabulary words like credit, Financing. So I'm, I would imagine that you're telling them all about the deals that you're doing, which is why they're asking for money. I don't be telling everybody. Right. What's going on? You're right about that. <laughs> you're right about that. Got to break it down. All right. So your vision on, are you actively looking for storage units now? Yes, absolutely. That's, you're that's always looking. Always. You got anything you're looking at right now? So we haven't found anything recently that, that makes sense, but I'm, always, I'm sorry. What was your formula? You, I was, I was, we was going to a formula and then I went off on a tangent somewhere. <laughs> Give me your formula that you're looking for. I know you said, uh, we, we started out with uh, getting my money back in five years, but yeah, there was so more I wanna, to it. I want to make sure I can get my money back. Right. Mm -hmm. The next thing I want to look at is where could I add value? So is the opportunity for me to increase the market rents? So what that means is if the facility currently that I'm looking at buying, if they charge in $90 for a 10 by 10, what is the facility charging up the street? Are they charging 109? Well, I need to increase my rents to go there. If they're charging lower than me, I need to figure out why, right? I need to always know that if I buy this, I can increase the income. Is there any room for expansion, right? Can I add more units? Is there a college nearby? Is there a high school nearby? Is there a hospital nearby? Because if I, you know, can, how can we drive more traffic to the facility? What's going on in the area? Are they building a new stadium, right? I want to know all of these things. What is the population growth? What is the median income? It's, it's buying a business, so I need to know what, what are the factors that impact this from an environmental standpoint. 